Ten. X plus one to the four equal to one. Okay, for solving this, we want to use a famous identity that a squared minus b squared is a minus b times a plus b. Then we can say if we subtract one, it will be x plus one to the four minus one equal to zero. Then if we use this part, we can say it is equal to, we know that a to the m to the n equal to a to the m. So it will be x plus one squared squared minus one squared equal to zero. The next step, we can say it is equal to x plus one squared minus one times x plus one squared plus one equal to zero. Now in next step, we can say, okay, this part is subtraction of two perfect square. We can say it is equal to x plus one minus one times x plus one plus one times this part is what? x plus 1 squared, we use this identity, that a plus b squared equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. And it will be what? It will be x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 1 equal to 0. So we have product of three terms equal to 0. So the first term is 0, or second term, or third term. Here we can cancel, it will be x. This part will be x plus 2. This part will be x squared plus 2x plus 2 equal to 0. Now, first term equal to 0, so x equal to 0 or negative 2, second term, or this part 0, third term. If third term equal to 0, we can say, okay, x squared plus 2x plus 2 equal to 0. Or let's do something. Mm, here we know that it is x plus 1 squared plus 1. So let's not expand this. In this case, we don't need to use quadratic formula. This part was what? x plus 1 squared plus 1. Here we can say it is equal to plus 1, 0. So it is equal to negative 1. So x plus 1 is plus minus root negative 1. In complex numbers, root negative 1 is i. So plus minus i, and if you subtract 1, it will be negative 1 plus minus i. So we found two other answers in complex numbers, and in total, four answers. If you had questions, send a message to my WhatsApp number, and please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. Thanks. Bye.